Um, welcome to Bless Your Rank. My name is Matt, and today we're gonna be ranking fast food, chocolate chip, cookies. Or just cookies in general. Some of them are not necessarily straight up chocolate chips. Some of them get a little fancy. And some of them just didn't exist anymore, KFC. What happened? Why'd you stop? Actually, several people told me that theirs are terrible, so that's probably for the best. It's gonna be fun. I wish I got some milk. I could probably, I'm at home, so I could probably just go upstairs and get the milk, but I don't want to. Also, it's time for Bless Your Sponsor, and today's number one business is Surfshark. Surfshark keeps you safe on the internet by encrypting your data, which is also known, conveniently, as cookies. They do this by establishing your own virtual private network, also known as a VPN. That way, when you're sending your cookies across the internet to somebody, uh, a hacker or some bad guy can't come in and get them, because Surfshark protects it. And yes, this is a dolphin, but just work with me, okay? And then, if they try to, Surfshark will eat them. I'm not really, I don't think that they do that, though. But they make sure that it's safe. And you want to protect your cookies on the internet because they're filled with things like uh, usernames, passwords, your credit card information. And I don't know if you've ever had your credit card information stolen before, but it's not fun if you're watching this and you just so happen to steal my credit card information back in 2012 and then racked up like $60 of stuff at CVS in Miami, Florida. I just want you to know that I haven't forgiven you. Even though it's been 11 years, I still remember. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna find you. Wish I had Surfshark back then. <laughs> Another huge perk of Surfshark VPN is the ability to change your IP address location. Now you're wondering, Matt, why would I want to do that? I don't know. Let's just say that your favorite professional sports team has an exclusive contract with a regional sports network that is only carried by a handful of cable companies that want you to sign up for their ultra premium package that comes with a thousand channels even though you want to watch one game. And you can't just simply sign up for the league streaming service because you're in Alabama even though there's no professional sports team here, but somehow you're in their market and so now you can't watch it because you're blacked out. Oh, well, not anymore thanks to Surfshark. Let's keep pretending, okay? Then it's just like three little tippy taps on that Surfshark app and suddenly I'm in Salt Lake City, Utah, where the only thing I'm blacked out from is like properly seasoned food. You didn't tell them about the best part. When you sign up and use the code Matt Mitchell, you'll get three free months of Surfshark VPN. What a deal. Or you could just tap that little linky link down there in the description of this video and it'll take you straight to that bargain. Thanks, Surfshark. Let's get started. Competitor number one. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A chocolate chip cookies. Here's the thing about today's Bless Your Rank that I didn't fill y'all in on already. Of all the fast food things that I've ranked before, I have been familiar with almost all of them. Today's chocolate chip cookies, I didn't even know that some of these places had chocolate chip cookies. I feel like maybe I've had... I feel like maybe I've had these before, but I don't quite remember them, which in that case means they're probably not very good. But if I did, I feel like these were stuck in a catering box. You ever seen that? You go to like a conference and they're like, we got Chick-fil-A for lunch. And I'm like, not super excited because I thought we might be getting steak or something. But uh, this is better than cold cut sandwiches, which I've had before. Working for the state of Alabama. There you go. That's what that's like. Roll tight. First impressions, whole lot of chocolate chip chunks in it. This is a thick boy. It's a big boy. It's a big boy. A little chewy, you see? A little bit, didn't, didn't, wasn't a hard crunch. Here we go. Too good cookie. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, this is chocolatey. I would not say that it's too much chocolate because the actual cookie batter itself, you taste that brown sugar in it and stuff, and it's not, but it's not too sweet. It doesn't overpower it. It's a nice holder of the chocolate chip cookies. I don't really know what to call that. Like a frozen sea of goodness holding all the fishies together. I'm assuming that's how frozen lakes work. I don't know, I've never seen one in my entire life. The closest I've ever seen to that is sometimes there's a dog bowl of water outside and it freezes. Our dogs are inside, they're inside dogs. We just have an outside bowl when they're outside during the day sometimes, not when it's cold. Don't report me, my dogs are fine. Practically on this house. This is good. Do I think it wins? I don't know, because I literally don't know what any of these taste like. I do know that if you were to package these and sell them in the store, they would be far and away the best cookie in the store. That says a lot, because I really don't feel like they're baking these in Chick-fil-A. Surely they come packaged in from Atlanta or wherever these come from. Chick-fil-A fans probably say Jesus, but the truth is probably some homeschool kid in Georgia is baking them instead of learning stuff like math. So Chick-fil-A currently number one. Not bad. Contestant. <coughs> there it is. Trust me, there's only Dr. Pepper in that Dr. Pepper bottle. Contestant number two, Burger King. BK, have it your way. So here's 
here's the thing about Burger King cookies. Number one, didn't know they existed, didn't believe it until I walked in, and then right there by the register is an entire like case of cookies that didn't look like it was designed to hold cookies, but it was. It was holding somewhere in the ballpark of 200 cookies. That being said, when I asked to buy just two chocolate chip cookies at Burger King, she looked at me like I was growing another head on my shoulders. It baffled her. These were the cheapest cookies. Burger King's cookies were so cheap, I was not sure that she rang it up correctly. A dollar thirty. Turn me over, get a Whopper. There's so many asterisks on this. I it's hard to believe it when you put so many terms and conditions on it. Burger King, dirt cheap uh, cookies. Here we go. Oh, they're basically stuck together. This is gonna be like performing surgery. Oh, no, it wasn't. It wasn't that bad. They're soft, but they're like soft batch cookie soft. Suspiciously soft. Smells like a french fry. Not a great start. Um, not awful, but not great. I'll tell you this, the texture and the crumbleness is less like a soft batch cookie and pretty close to undercooked, like oven baked Pillsbury at your house that you made. You know what I'm talking about, the ones that come in the package and they're already like in little squares. All I gotta do is pick it up, and drop it on a cookie sheet. It's like that, but you didn't bake them long enough. They're nothing to write home about. They're actually inferior to that. They're not terrible. I mean, like if I didn't have any other cookies in front of me today and you gave me one of those, I would eat it just fine. I wouldn't say that this was the greatest cookie I've ever had, but I've certainly had worse. BK, have it your way. Real quick though, BK, catchy commercial. However, I have never walked into a Burger King in the state of Alabama and not walked out feeling cleaner or the same. Always feeling real dirty after I walk out of an Alabama Burger King. What, what's going on there? They're all a little greasy, very greasy, but you were giving out crowns when I walked in, so that's pretty cool, I like that. Also, there was a kid um, by himself in a booth scrolling through TikTok at the loudest possible volume. And I don't know what side of TikTok he's on, but it's not the side I'm on. So I don't know what was going on there. BK, second place for now. You probably will not end there. You won't be in the top three. I feel pretty good about that guess. Sorry, King. Competitor number two, three. Competitor number three. Blind, blind, blind one. Going in blind. Oh. God, come on, Matt. No other fast food place was more baffled when ordering two cookies than Wendy's was. The person that I ordered in the drive-thru from actually left. She said, hold on. And she disappeared for like a whole five minutes and then came back with a price and told me to drive around. And then it felt like several people had to come to the window to see what fool was ordering two cookies. <laughs> this fool right here for content, for content. It looks good though. I mean, this could turn Wendy's around because we've had a love-hate relationship on BYR. I just don't like what you've become. Wendy's. Go back to being like 1980s Wendy's. I mean, completely unhinged. The hot bar, a freaking salad bar in a fast food restaurant. There's nothing about that that says sanitary. It's not a matter of what you'll catch, it's like how many things will you catch? And you stopped it. You stopped it. I don't know who told you to stop, the health department, Jesus. But when you took down the salad bar, America changed. <laughs> Bring it back. Bring back the salad bar. Maybe the sunrooms too. Those are great. You feel like you're just a little bacon over there. You just get to get that little warm sun on you. You take a little nap in the Wendy's. <laughs> That's the 80s. Bring it back. Here we go. It's chunky. It's a chunky boy. It's almost Chick-fil-A level chunky. It weirdly like, not disintegrates, but like kind of disintegrates in your mouth. That's not natural. It's weird. It's just weird to chew on. It doesn't taste bad, but it's, there's something going on in here that I don't care for a lot. Maybe because I thought it would be a lot like Chick-fil-A. And it's not quite as chewy. It's not It's not hard, but it's just kind of giving up, which is pretty symbolic of the way Wendy's is running the restaurants now. The chocolate chips are good. Taste those. I, I would dare say these are the best chocolate chips I've had so far. But the cookie piece is so weird. I mean, you can see the crumbs on this sucker. Albeit, I did hold it about two feet above the table and drop it, to be fair. But it's been quite a little mess here. Wendy's, the chocolate chips are so good that it takes it ahead of Burger King, I think. Halfway there. Whoa, 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 living on a prayer. Competitor number four, Arby's. At least give me the illusion that you're baking them in the store, Arby's. I mean, I don't think that any of these are, maybe one or two might, but at least act like you're you're doing it. This wasn't the, wasn't the Otis Spunkmeyer is going on here. You just, 
I mean, you might as well just give me some little debbies. Major points will be deducted for this, Arby's. Just put, just pretend like you're making them. We have the meats, but we don't have an oven? Is that what you're telling me? You can't bake a cookie? I think these were actually some of the most expensive cookies. Two nineteen a piece. These better be good. Also, you can't get just chocolate chip at uh, Arby's. The day that I went, my local Arby's had the salted caramel and chocolate cookie. So that's what I got. This is the heaviest one. This is the biggest cookie by far. It's a little too round. It's a little, it looks like something that came out of a package that should have a barcode on it, but doesn't. Also don't see much caramel on it. Is there supposed to, is it caramel like baked in? I don't know how that works. Here we go. Why is it caramel crunchy? Is that salt? Did you salt the caramel? Is that salted caramel? Hey, gum at Arby's. You could, just, you could just make a freaking chocolate chip cookie. That's all you had to do was make a, a simple chocolate chip cookie. Like everybody else is doing. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I also don't love it. I don't like what they're trying to do here. It's unnecessary. Also, this thing is getting stuck at all up in my teeth. This, this feels like, it's almost like toffee. <sighs> Arby's, listen. Just bring back the freaking cherry turnovers. Bring them back. Or the potato cakes. Bring those back. Stop fooling around with stuff nobody wants. This is unnecessarily bougie. Nobody wants this. I mean, I really thought, I really, really thought this would be the winner. And then I have to just pull back a little bit because you put it in a package that you didn't make it look like you, you baked it. I'm not expecting y'all to come put these cookies on like a cookie sheet and bring them out to me with an apron on and, and then like serve them, to, <coughs> serve them to me like mama did. But I expect you to put a little bit of effort into it. This is a classic example of, of trying too hard. Listen, let me be a lesson for y'all. Aim low and avoid disappointment, achieve mediocrity. That's my, that's, that's, that's me to a key. Try that Arby's, try it. Do less Arby's, okay? Don't try so hard. Look at your competition. You barely have to try it all. This feels weird, but given the price and what I'm getting out of it and how much I enjoy it, I'm saying last place. And I love caramel. Nobody loves caramel more than me. This, this my friends, this ain't caramel. This is toffee. You have lied to us. Two competitors left. Two left. Competitor. Number five. A McDonald's with a Christmas bag. For reference, it is early March when we're filming this. So I don't know what's going on at my McDonald's, but it's the season of sharing. McDonald's has a smell and this bag is it. Actually, I don't even hate that smell. This kind of, this makes me hungry for a quarter pounder with cheese. When I'm baking cookies, I'm looking for this. This is pull it out time. This is when you get that little golden brown, little outer rim here. And pro move, get yourself a little cooling rack and then quickly like pull them cookies off the cookie sheet and put them on the cooling rack so the bottom doesn't get burnt. Cause if you leave them on that pan, that's technically still cooking. And then you won't have uh, cookies with a hard bottom. They'll have a little soft butt. You know, if you put them on the cooling rack, that's a mat tip for you. Get a cooling rack. M Mickey D's. That is y'all. That's cookie. If the dictionary had taste instead of pictures and you looked up chocolate chip cookie, this would probably be it. I mean, it's just straight down the middle chocolate chip. I know exactly where this should be. And that's third. Put it here instead of here because there is a gap between the Wendy's and McDonald's. And you can just tell by looking at it. I mean, like, this is like, this is looking gourmet. This is looking, this is looking like I made it, honestly. This is a Matt Mitchell cookie in every set. It's not gonna blow your mind, but it's, I didn't burn it because I get real mad at myself if I burn the cookies. Our last competitor, competitor number six, is the only fast food cookie that I've ever had. I've had it multiple times because they're pretty good. Subway, looky, looky, I've got a cookie. I've got the biggest butterfingers when we do this show. This is only making me realize how thin Subway cookies are. I'm getting robbed. I didn't even realize that. Also, absolute shocker that my local Subway had the chocolate chip cookies out because I swear, every time I've gone in there for the last four years, they're out of chocolate chip. But they actually had them in when I went in, so it was, uh, that was great. It was Jesus just watching out for us. He's a big fan of the show. It's true. Ask him. Here we go. Wow. I am realizing now how incredibly inferior these are as I eat them with every other cookie. And in my entire life, I've been like, well, Subway's got the best cookies. Only because they're the only fast food cookies I've ever had. And they're not the best. They're not the second best. I'm trying to figure out if they're better than McDonald's. Man, by themselves really aren't hitting the spot for me. It must be after I eat like the worst assembled sub of my life. <laughs> That a cookie like just brings some sense of normalcy to me. I'm like, oh, now this seems uniform and like normal. This has been an opening experience for me. Made my decision. In first place, Chick-fil-A. People said it was the best and they were right. It really is a good bit ahead of the competition. Second place, Wendy's. 
And I may have just gotten a bad batch. It's just something about that cookie and the way it falls apart in your mouth is not right. But I may have gotten a bad one. And that's not something to really like push it any further back in the pack. Because those chocolate chunks are probably the best chocolate chunks out of all the cookies. In third place, McDonald's. In fourth, Subway. And after here, you're on your own. I mean, this is probably, you like this, right? You thought this was pretty good. I just do not, you just, you lied to me. You lied to me about the caramel, okay? You don't lie to me and get away with it, Arby's. And that cost you dearly. Just think of all the cookie sales you're gonna miss out on now because of this episode right here. If anything, they probably went up because people want to see what I'm talking about. So you're welcome, Arby's. There you go, if you like this episode of Bless Your Rank, then check out the other ones on my channel. At this point, there's one other one. There'll be more later if you watch this, not when it debuted, but just check them out. They're somewhere around my face. And subscribe to my channel, so that way you get, you get, you get my videos. That's it. That's all I got. There's no merch store yet. This is me. You didn't have to subscribe. I just want you to love me, you know? Just leave me a comment that says, you're, you're a pretty boy. I like you. Bye, y'all.